Good morning, Seminole Ridge, and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source of news here at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Seno Collado. And I'm Joshua Thaw. Today is Tuesday, April 16th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Prom is coming up soon. Next week, SJA is hosting a Prom Spirit Week to celebrate the days leading up to prom. WSRH News reporter Mikael Sen has more on what to hear. Where. Hello, I'm here with Mr. Kermit to talk about Prom Week Spirit Week. So, Mr. Kermans, who can participate? Um, any student can participate if they want to. Um, we have, of course, all the days posted. It's not just exclusive to like juniors and seniors who maybe go into prom. If any kid wants to do it, that's totally fine by us. What is the theme for Monday? So, uh, the theme for Monday is anything but a backpack day. So, it's just like... You don't use your backpack to bring in your school supplies. You just bring in something to have them. But we do have certain conditions for it. So a kid can't, for example, bring a shopping cart. They can't bring animals. They can't bring people, right? Like no little kids. Um, the uh, supply they use or whatever item they have has to be able to go through a metal detector and not go off. And admin does reserve the right to deny anything that you may bring in that may be deemed inappropriate or like unsafe. What is the theme for Tuesday? Tuesday is uh, Twin Day. It's fairly straightforward. So you just find like one of your friends and you just match the clothes that they would wear. What is the theme for Wednesday? Wednesday is going to be dress as a color of your uh, dress. So for guys, it's like, you know, if you're going to wear like a black tuxedo, you just wear black or whatever color you're going to have. For a uh, woman, if you are wearing, for example, like a green dress, you just wear like a green shirt to kind of match you know, and give like a preview of what you're going to wear. What is the theme for Thursday? Thursday is going to be pre-prom look. So what that means is like, you know, if you wear pajamas, that's okay. Um, for like women, you may wear like headbands. You know, just imagine like you're standing in front of the mirror. You're getting ready to like go out to prom, putting your makeup on, stuff like that. And what does it mean for Friday? Friday is black and gold. So what that entails is just, it's fairly straightforward wearing black and gold because the theme of prom is a great Gatsby, black and gold. It just matches the theme. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Mikhail Sanin. Prom is just a few weeks away, and if you bought the senior package, you should have picked up your prom ticket. If you purchased the senior package and need to pick up your prom ticket, stop by room 7202 anytime with your signed contract. If you still need to buy a prom ticket, you can purchase them during both lunches on Thursdays and Fridays. You must have a signed contract to purchase tickets, which are $125 for upperclassmen and $140 for underclassmen and guests. Are you interested in taking dual enrollment college algebra on campus next year? The school counseling department will be hosting a dual enrollment information session on Google Meet next Tuesday at April 23rd at 7 p.m. This session is for anyone wanting to learn more about the benefits of dual enrollment, eligibility requirements, and how to navigate the res registration process. Do you have an interest in photography? Selmore Ridge has a photography club, and the next meeting is this week. The photography club will meet on Thursday, April 18th, after school in room 7102. If you have any questions, see Ms. Jenkins. Have you ordered your yearbook yet? This yearbook, this year's yearbook is almost sold out. There are, few, there are fewer than 30 copies left for sale. Students should order their books today before they sell out and before the price increases 120 on May 1st. Students can order with cash or check in room 7, 1, 10, or online at yearbookforever.com. Some, some of Seminole Ridge's most talented students will be taking the stage this week as a part of the BSU Talent Show. WSRH news reporter Kane Orton has more on who will be forming and how you can go to the show. The BSU Talent Show is coming up. I'm here with Ms. Wright, the sponsor, to find out more. So, Ms. Wright, when is the talent show? The talent show is this Friday, April 19th, in the auditorium. What time does the talent show start? The talent show starts at 6 p.m. promptly. How, how many acts are there? There are several acts this year, which is super exciting, and I'm very excited to see everyone perform. And how much are tickets? Tickets are $5, so please bring cash. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Kate Norton. The premiere is coming up, and you're invited. The Summer Ridge Television Production Academy is proud to present our 19th annual premiere student video showcase at May 7th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Why go? It's, it's a cheap date. It's only $10, plus you'll get a chance to see our best short films, commercials, public service announcements, music videos, feature stories, and more. Tickets will go on sale next week, and you can buy your tickets from any TV production student or from Mr. Wright in room 4102. 
Attention seniors, there will be an informational Grad Bash meeting on April 17th in the auditorium during third period from 9.45 to 10.30. Only seniors who have paid and are cleared to attend the trip must attend this meeting. Please email Mrs. Vassilotti at christian.vassilotti at palmbeachschools.org if you have any questions. Seniors, are you interested in making more senior memories? RSVP to attend Seminole Ridge Special Senior Dinner. There are posters all around campus with a QR code you can scan or you can go see Ms. Vassilotti in room 6203 to sign up completely free of cost. The dinner will be held in the cafeteria on Wednesday, May 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. Can't wait to see you there. We will have our last hot card giveaway Wednesday, April 17th in the cafeteria during both lunches. Students must present their hot card and ID to receive a special treat that day. First priority will be having a meeting Friday after school in Mr. Moya's room 9103. Come on by for some games, community, and student-led deviation. No. Florida, being home of the Gators, we sure do like our Crocs. And what do we do with our Crocs? We bedazzle them. SJ is hosting a Jibbit sale this week during both lunches. The Jibbits are only $1, so buy them today while surprise lasts. Congratulations to this week's Hawk of the Week. Ninth, Hayden Ernest, nominated by Miss Greenhall. Tenth, Nicholas Petit, nominated by Miss Edwards. Eleventh, Roxy Brewer, nominated by, Mr. by Mrs. M. Pifaletti. Twelfth, Timothy Nilsson, nominated by Miss McDonald and Miss Becht. Good job, Hawks. Students were nominated based on academic excellence, academic improvement, or for their efforts in making our campus better by doing things like helping others volunteer their time or even simply picking up trash. Coming on WSH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. <laughs> What do you call a snowman with a Rolex on? I don't know, what? Icy. Let's go to the News Meteorologist Jonah Baker with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. On today's weather forecast, we have a high of 81, low 65 with party cloudy skies. Looking at our three-day forecast, on Wednesday, we have a high of 84, a low 63 with party cloudy skies. On Thursday, we have a high of 86, a low 64 with party cloudy skies. And on Friday, we have a high of 90, a low 66 with party cloudy skies. For WSH Weather, I'm Jonah Baker. We have a happy birthday going out to Jeremana Oshaisti, Jordan Bornis de Leon, Joel Corona, Healy Cardell, Colton Moray. Happy birthday. WSRH sports anchor Luke Mazzolo joins now at the sports desk. Good morning, Ox. We have, one, uh, we have a busy week last week, and today's week got a slow start with only one game yesterday. The Central Ridge baseball team hosted Dwyer High last night. Had the Hawks do against the Panthers? WSR sports reporter Ryan Hanser has this, the answer. I'm with varsity baseball coach Sia Fletty following last night's game against Dwyer. So, how'd it go? Uh, last night's game, it was, it was a tough game. Uh, we lost 3 0, unfortunately. But, you know, Dwyer is a really, really tough team. It's also a district matchup. Uh, last game didn't, didn't go too well for us, we, we played a little sloppy. Um, but with a 3 nothing loss last night, ultimately, we just made a couple of mistakes and they played a little better than us. Uh, but I was still proud of some of the, way, uh, some of the ways we played. Uh, but unfortunately, just, just came, came through with the, with the loss, unfortunately. And who are your top performers? Our top performer was Gage Roof. Uh, kid's only a sophomore. Um, you know, lost some time this year you know, due, to, due to an injury. But you know, he came back last week, had his second start again after injury, uh, through six innings, you know, just a few hits to a really tough lineup. Multiple guys going Division One next year for, for a Dwyer team. So this kid just kind of came in. Um, just went to work, unfortunately, just made a couple of mistakes behind him. Uh, but he was our, our, our bright spot last night, and, and he gave us a chance to win. But ultimately, just uh, they played just a little better than us. And when's your next game, and how are you preparing? Our next game's tomorrow. We play Somerset Canyons uh, here at home, and it's actually our senior night. We'd love to have a lot of you out there to support. Uh, we've played Somerset 
ultimately the way we're preparing today for that is to just put ourselves into some some live defense situations just try to put ourselves in the pressure um, and practice that we can take into the games and just be ready for tomorrow well good luck thank you for WSH News I'm Ryan taking Hansen. a look at today's sports calendar boys volleyball versus Somerset home JV at 6 p.m. and varsity at 7 p.m. softball versus Forest Hill home varsity at 6 30 p.m. And Beach Volleyball versus Wellington at Pearson Park, Varsity at 3.30 p.m. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Luke Zolo. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Joshua Thaw. And I'm Sanok Oyalo. Remember that you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Summoner Rich TV. Have a great day, Hawks.